So now I am coming with next set of questions. Okay, it will be a different pattern but covering the same topic. Shall we see what these sums are? Here it goes. So my next term is the expanded form. How will you write Five hundred plus sixty plus six. Okay, and my options are five six zero, five zero six, five six six, and my option D is five hundred. Okay. So what is this type of question stating? What did you understand from this question? You got it correct children. It is an expanded form, right? The number which we are writing, we are just expanding it so that we know what is the exact place value of the digits, okay? So here it is asking me 500 plus 60 plus 6. So how will you write here? See, 500 plus 60 plus 6, right? So it will come here 6, 6, 5. So what is my answer? Good. Option C is my right answer because my answer is 566. Got it? Shall we do the same pattern once again? Okay. So here is my next question. How will you write? plus 6. Okay? And my options are 60, 66, 6 and none of these. Okay? So here children we have only 10s and 1s. We don't have 100s. So to solve it, it has shown a 60 plus 6. So what will come here? 6 here and 6 here. So what is my answer? My answer is 66 which is option B. Got it? Shall we do some more sums? Here it goes. My third question says, how will you write? Nine hundred plus nine S. Remember, it's nine hundred plus nine. Okay, and my options are nine hundred, nine ninety, hundred and nine, and nine one zero. Okay. Fine. So, what is our first step? You need to solve them. 900. Do you have anything in tens? No. Two. And what do you have in ones? It is nine. So, if you add together, what will it become? Nine, zero, nine. And where can you see this answer? It is option C. So, my answer will be written as nine, zero and nine. Okay. Interesting children, shall we do few more sums? Here it goes. So my next question is, how can we write 800 plus 80? Okay, remember it is 800 plus 80. Okay, and my option says 800 plus Eight zero eight, eight eighty, and my last option says eight eighty eight. Okay, so what is my first step? You will be writing the sum eight hundred plus the next is given as eighty. Do you have any other number? No, so it is assumed to be zero, right? So zero eight eight. So where can you find this? 
it is an option C, right? So my correct answer is 880. Got it children? Shall we have few more some of this pattern? Okay, fine. Here is your next question. The next question says, how can we write 500 plus 5? Okay. And my options are 500. My next option is 505. My next option is 550. And my last option is 555. Five, five. Okay, so how will you write it? 500 plus. Do you have anything in tens? No. So we'll put it as 0. And do you have anything in ones? You have a 5. So it will be 5, 0, 5. So where can you find this option? It is an option B. So option B is my right answer. Okay, children. Now, have you got familiarized with this pattern of questions? Okay. So, I have a last question for you in this pattern. Okay. And your last question says, how can we write 600 plus 60 plus 6? Okay, and my options are 600, 666, 660, and 606. So, how will you solve them? You will write 600 plus, what is the next one? 60 plus, what is the next one? 6. So, when you add together, it becomes 666. And where do you see this option? Good. It is an option B. So, your correct answer will be 666. Are you clear children with this pattern of questions? Shall we move to the next pattern? 